Welcome to this Corporate Maths primary video on angles and polygons. In this video, we're going to look at what the angles in some polygons add up to. So here we've got a triangle. The angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees, and that's all triangles, whether it's right angles, equilateral, scalene, isosceles. The angles in those triangles will add up to 180 degrees. A quadrilateral, the angles, the four angles in a quadrilateral will always add up to 360 degrees and that doesn't matter what type of quadrilateral it is, whether it's a square, rectangle, chi, trapezium, parallelogram, rhombus, etc. Um, here we've got a pentagon, the five angles in a pentagon always add up to 540 degrees, so these angles added together would be 540 degrees. And finally, a hexagon, the angles in a hexagon, the six angles in a hexagon will always add up to 720 degrees. As you notice, each time we add a side, we add on another 180 degrees. So if we know what a hexagon is, which is 720, if we wanted to know what a seven-sided shape, a heptagon added up to, we would just add on another 180 degrees. So every single time we add on a side, we add on another 180 degrees to find out what the angles add up to in that shape. Okay, let's answer a question on angles and polygons. So here we've got a pentagon because it's got one, two, three, four, five sides. And the question says, find the size of angle X. So uh, first thing I notice is this, uh, this pentagon has got two right angles. So I'm just gonna write 90 there and 90 degrees there, just because if it's a right angle, it's gonna be 90 degrees. Now, if we wanna find the missing angle in this pentagon, well, I know that the five angles add up to pentagon, 540 degrees. So if I add up the four angles that were given and take that away from 540 degrees, we'll find out the size angle X. So 160 plus 120 plus 90 plus 90. And if we add these four angles up, we're gonna get zero plus zero plus zero plus zero is zero. Six plus two is eight plus nine is 17 plus nine is 26. So put the six down and carry the two. One plus one plus two is four. So these four angles add up to 460 degrees. Now, if we take that away from 540, that's because that's what the angles in a pentagon will always add up to, so 460, and take those away, we'll find the size of angle X. So zero take away zero is zero. Four take away six, we can't do, so we're gonna borrow four and a one. 14 take away six is eight and four take away four is zero. So angle X is 80 degree, X equals 80 degrees, and that's it. Okay, let's have a go now at another question. So here we've got a hexagon, and the question says find the size of angle X. So as you know, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six angles in a hexagon, and all those six angles will add up to hexagon 720 degrees. So if we add the five angles we're given up, so 130, 140, 95, 120, 95, and, and just make sure you've got them all, okay? Because sometimes whenever students see these questions, they sometimes miss, miss one out or write the same one down twice. So 130, 140, 95, 120, and 95, great. And if we add up the five angles we've given and take that away from 720, we'll find the size of angle X. So adding up the numbers gives zero plus zero plus five plus zero plus five is 10. So put the zero down, carry the one. One plus nine is 10 plus two is 12, plus nine is 21, plus four is 25, plus three is 28, so put the eight down, carry the two, and one plus one plus one plus two is five. So the five angles we've given have got a sum of 580 degrees. Now if we take that away from 720, which is what the angles add up to a hexagon, we're gonna find the missing angle X. So zero minus zero is zero, uh, two minus eight, or well, we're gonna borrow from the uh, seven, I call that six, and put the one there. So 12 take away eight is four, and six take away five is one. So X is equal to 140 degrees. And that's it. So the two questions we've just done have been for irregular polygons. This is an irregular pentagon. It's irregular because not all the angles are the same size and not all the sides are the same length. And this also is an irregular hexagon, okay? It's irregular again because the angles aren't equal and the sides aren't of equal length. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna look at some regular polygons. So a regular triangle is called an equilateral triangle. It's called an equilateral triangle because all angles are the same and all sides are the same length. To find the size of each angle, let's call it X, what we would do is we would take what the angles add up to in a triangle, which is 180, and because all three angles are the same size, what we're gonna do is just divide it by three. And whenever we divide 180 by three, we get 60 degrees. So in an equilateral triangle, all three angles are 60 degrees, 60 degrees, and 60 degrees.
in a square, well, we actually, you probably should know that a square have got um, all four angles are right angles and therefore they are all 90 degrees. Um, it's just sort of common sense. Um, but to, to sort of to show that, we would show that the angles in a quadrilateral add up to 360 degrees. If we divide it by four, because all four angles in a regular uh, quadrilateral or square are the same, if we divide it by four, we get 90 degrees. Now what we're going to do is we're now going to look at a pentagon and we're going to find the size of each angle in a regular pentagon. Now because all five angles are the same, if we take what the angles add up to in a pentagon, which is 540, and we divide that by 5, so divide it by 5, we will find the size of each angle. So 5 into 5 goes once, 5 into 4 doesn't go, okay, the 4, 5 into 40 goes 8 times. So each angle in a regular pentagon is 108 degrees. So each of the five angles is 108 degrees. And finally, a regular hexagon. Well, the, uh, in a regular hexagon, the angles add up to 720 degrees. And because there's six angles that are all the same size, if we divide that by six, we will find the size of each angle. So six into seven goes once, remainder one. 6 into 12 goes twice, and 6 into 0 goes 0. So each angle in a regular hexagon is 120 degrees. So all of the angles, or each of the angles, is 120 degrees. And that's it.